The robots are fast taking over mundane tasks from humans in areas like healthcare, logistics, and services. And the world superpowers, U.S. and China, are now racing to develop the most advanced humanoid. In this two-part series, we look at how humanoids will shape the future and who will shape it first. CNA's Tan Suhui with his first report from China. A half marathon between humans and robots, the first of its kind in the world, held in Beijing. While some were built for speed, others just needed a break. But at the core of it, China is hoping to showcase some of its most advanced robots in real-life scenarios. And manufacturers say it's only the beginning. So today, this is but it's more than just automation. It's a global race as tech titans are locked in a fierce battle to build the most advanced humanoid. And the race is on. The global market for humanoid robots could surpass $5 trillion by 2050, according to Morgan Stanley Research. Reports have named leading humanoid manufacturers almost exclusively from two countries, China and the US. But the big question is, who will win the race? And how soon will we see these robots enter our everyday life? China's humanoids first shot to stardom early this year when they danced on the screens of millions at the Spring Festival Gala, capturing international headlines. The wheels are set in motion as China's humanoid robot manufacturers enter mass production, aiming to produce more than a thousand units this year, with a domestic output value of about $600 million. Much of that success is owed to its well-established supply chain, government policies and funds that help drive the robust development of robotic sector. According to official data, China had a total of 450,000 smart robotics firms by end of last year, marking a staggering more than 200% increase from 2020. This sort of advancement and progress, it sort of reflects a mix of like public-private cooperation in China that's supported by its world-class and high-value STEM talent pool, as well as um, decades-long and mature manufacturing infrastructure. China's sort of growing train of entrepreneurship and innovation in advanced technology. And I think that really facilitates a lot of innovation, a lot of developments in humanoid in China. The momentum continued at this year's annual Zhongguanzun Tech Forum, where robots were front and center. Set against the backdrop of the trade war with the U.S., manufacturers were keen to show off their mechanical inventions. Hello, Nia. Can you speak English? Of course. I can also still in English. How can I help you out today? Analysts say they're optimistic about the future for robotics in China, especially as the country faces increasing societal and geopolitical challenges. The governments also view this humanoid development as a critical solution for sort of structural demographic challenge, right? Including aging populations, decline uh, fertility, and also the increasing labor costs right now in China in the context of US-China strategic competition. They believe that humanoid is a frontier technology to uh, set it as a national priority to develop and I believe this is a thing that they really need to compete and develop uh, uh, in a competition with the United States. In the second part of a two-part series, I travel to the U.S. to find out how the economic superpower is pushing the frontiers of humanoid development. <laughs>